my name is Tim King. I'm the structure superintendent at the Red River Project. Uh, I've been in the industry for 26 years. I've been with Ames for 10 years. So I'm in charge of the concrete, pouring all the concrete, forming the concrete. And then uh, I guess the biggest thing is growing people. So six years ago, we started a project in Pella, Iowa, uh, retrofitting a dam with a hydro generators in it to make electricity. And I got a lot of uh, experience from that project. It was also a Army Corps project. And I think, you know, having that experience is why Ames got me up here to, you know, help out with these projects. Oh, the biggest challenge, the weather, the wind, those are up there pretty good. We're in a bowl, so when it rains, yeah, the water. Putting the side seals, I guess I think that was one of our bigger challenges. So the side seals are those arched pieces that the gate seals, and then that seals the water, and they're a big radius. And the tolerance is super tight. So getting them in there and getting getting them adjusted, and it was very time consuming and it tested a lot of people's patience. And you know, being on the three structures, you know, by this one we were really had it down to a science. There's still a challenge, yo. Anything that has to do with the radius is a challenge. So one of my uh, favorite components would be the trunnion girders. They're kind of like the hinge point of the gates. Most interesting is that's what holds back all the water. Very challenging, glad I didn't have to engineer it. They were a lot of rebar. They got a lot of post tensioning in them. They were a challenge, but it was fun. My grandfather and my great grandfather were also construction workers. I like to send him little videos and he knows all the equipment running around and He'll call me, hey, how many how many yards are they moving over there? So it's it's kind of neat, you know, it, you know, in the family thing. So at the end of the day, it's got to be about the people building building these projects. Just do my best to take care of the people, and the reward is they take care of me. It's been good. Ames is really good at taking care of the people. They give me whatever I need, resources to make sure everybody's good. So. Yeah, flooding, flooding's no good. I mean, look at Texas now, that's, that's just not good. So to be a part of something that could help the city of Fargo so that can't happen, that's huge. It's re very rewarding.